So welcome back. This is an addition to the G Suite admin course, and it has been asked in the Q and A a couple of times. And I thought I'll actually record a quick video to explain how to do this. Well, it's not going to be the quickest video, but let's go from there. So this is about your DMARC records. Now, if you want to know what your DMARC records are, rather than having to get your reports once a day, they come in either an XML format or a zipped XML format. It's very, very difficult to read. So you can either use a third-party app like Demarkian or whatever. There are also other resources, which I'm going to link to in the resources. But basically what you're looking at is you want to make sure that everything's good and you want to be able to visualize it. You don't want to have to go and read through XML files the whole time. And this is what I'm going to try and do now. So what we've got here is we have a dashboard that you can look at all your emails, how many emails you've sent over a specific amount of time, what's happened with your emails, what your SPF looks like, your alignments, your DKM alignments. So you will see how many emails you've sent out, your reverse DNS searches. Um, you can even load what country you're getting emails from. So there's a lot of ways that you can do this. And this is much easier than actually trying to read through an XML file. So that's what we're going to try and achieve. If you want to do that, perfect, then follow along with. If you don't want to do that, you just want to check what's happening in your XML files. Check in the resources. There are a couple of free resources there where you can actually just upload your XML file and they can read it for you. But if you want to carry on with this, let's get started. So in your resources, you'll find this website and you can go look through it and see exactly what it's saying. What this is basically doing is it's taking a whole bunch of open source projects like past DMARC and Elasticsearch and Grafana and it's bundling them all together and putting it as a Docker container. So it's going to take all these different Docker containers and it's going to make it one big thing. So you can obviously just download past, past DMARC and you can actually install it yourself and you can play around with it. This is my favorite one because it brings it all together. It makes it nice and easy to visualize. And if you are going to start doing anything with um, like managers and things like that, this allows them to see exactly what's happening very quickly in a very pretty little way. So you can also do screenshots of this and say, look at this pretty graph. And, you know, managers, they like pretty graphs. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm on Ubuntu. And um, this will obviously work on Windows as well. So if you do have a, a Ubuntu virtual machine or you do use Ubuntu on, as your normal day-to-day -day machine, this will be quite easy for you. If you do have Windows, um, you basically, I'll link to in the resources how to install Docker. And then you'll be able to use this as the same thing. So what Docker is, if you don't know, is basically a way to run virtual machines on your computer without actually running a virtual machine. On Windows, you'd have to run a virtual machine, but on Linux, it's built in and you can run um, instances of Windows or you can run instances of um, Python or web servers or whatever as a virtual machine in what's called a Docker container. Let's try and figure this out quickly. And I'm going to go through all this quite slowly, step by step. And in the resources, I'm also going to put a list of all the commands so you can just copy and paste. Let's open up a terminal. I've increased my font size. Please don't judge me. We firstly go into run sudo apt update into your password. And all that looks good. We're then going to install a few prerequisite packages that will allow us to use the apt over HTTPS. So let's push enter on that. Brilliant. We're then going to add the GPG key for Docker. Okay, so now that we've run the GPG, let's make sure that that actually has the right fingerprint attached to it. So the fingerprint ends in these characters. So we're going to check if the fingerprint ends in those. So if I push enter, it then says perfect. That's the publication RSA. Here's the full key. And there's those last couple of characters. We're then going to add a repository to this. And what this will do at the end here is it will find your release of your current Ubuntu and it will add that to that link over there. So if you are on 20.0.4, which I'm on, then that is going to be the focal update and it's obviously going to be stable. So let's just click on that and push enter. We're now going to do an up, up, update. Brilliant. And you'll see the sources coming in here for Docker. Okay. So now we're going to see where we're going to install Docker from. Okay. And you'll see that it's going to come from the Docker repo here. Now let's install Docker. Okay, so Docker should now be installed. The daemon should be started and the process should be enabled to start on the boot. So now we're going to check that it's actually running. So we run this command 
and that's exactly good or well, that's perfect you see it is actually running over here and it says what time it's been running since okay so 55 seconds ago perfect and to go out of here control c and it will go away so now docker is installed and we now need to install the docker compose so they can read the yaml files and the yaml files is what actually is going to be running this stuff over here um, when we download this just now okay so we've got this it is going to download from the github docker compose releases download and then it's going to bring it into the user local bin docker compose and we're going to push enter we now need to set the permissions so that docker compose is executable so we're going to sudo chmod plus x and then this is where our Docker Compose is installed. Okay, we now need to check that Docker Compose is actually installed and what version we're running. Okay, so we're on 1.26 build, that build. Okay, so now we've installed Docker and we've installed Docker Compose. Let's now run a typical Hello World to make sure that it's actually working before we carry on. Now, Hello World is not gonna be on this machine, it's gonna pull down from the internet. And once it pulled down from the internet, it's gonna tell us if Docker is actually installed properly. Let's run that again as sudo docker run hello world. Brilliant. So now it's downloaded and says that it all is good. So now that we can actually start running the YAML file that we're about to download from this website. So I'm going to go to the GitHub over here. So zoom in there. And what you'll see is it's got Grafana here. It's got pass dmark here. It's got a readme and there it's got the YAML file. So I'm going to download this quickly. Okay. And I'm going to say download zip here. I'm just going to save this file. In my download folder, I will find this DMARC visualizer here. So let's just extract this here. So inside here, you'll find a couple of things. There's the Grafana, there's a the pass DMARC, and there's the YAML. So if we open this, you will see basically what it's going to be doing. We've got a version history here. It's going to build pass DMARC. It's going to have a folder here called files, another folder here called output files, and we're going to play around with this. So Simplest way I'd like to do is I'd like to start and make a new folder in here called files with a lowercase f, which needs to be exactly the same as this one. So you can copy and paste that. And I want to make another folder here called output files. So I'm going to copy that and make a new folder and say create there. So those are the two things I've got, files and output files, and all the rest are going to be running just now. So let's close that. And we're going to now open a terminal here, and we're now in this folder. Okay, so before we carry on, what I've done is I've actually got in my downloads a whole lot of zip files that are DMARC records that have come into my G Suite email. I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to jump, dump them into files. I'm going to say paste. Now, you don't have to unzip them or anything. What you'll know inside here is just a normal XML file. You don't have to unzip them if you don't want, because this will actually unzip it for you. Now that I'm in this folder, DMARC Visualizer, and I type ls, you'll see inside here, there is the YAML file, there's the files folder I created, and there's output files folder that I created. So I'm going to now say sudo docker-compose up and push enter. Depending on the speed of your connection, the speed of your computer, this might take a little bit of time. So give it a bit of time, and once you've got there and it starts running like this. Let's now open up localhost colon 3000. And the 3000 is over here. See it's port 3000 there. And that's where it was built from. And that's in the YAML file. So I'm going to close that. Okay, it doesn't look like that worked. Let's push control C on that one to shut that down. Let's say sudo compose down. Then let's say sudo compose up dash D. Okay, that's going to bring Elasticsearch and Grafana and pass DMAC up, and then just sudo compose up. And what you'll see all over the place here, there's 57, there's 71, there's 86. And it's looking at these files that I put inside this folder, and there's 7 inside here, and it's looking at 6 of 7 right now. And if you go into output files, you see that these files are starting to be made here. So now I gave it about five minutes and that you just need to do it the first time and then afterwards it should be much faster. So now that it's running, I have now refreshed this page and you can now see the graphs 
and this is the last seven days and you can say the last 90 days and the more data you put into this and the more DMARC records you put, start putting into this, the better it will be for you. And you can see how many emails have come in and out, what the reverse DNS looks like. And you can even have the messages and what source countries they're from. If you go back into this article, you'll be able to sign up for an account here, GeoLite2, it is a free account, and you can dump it into Pass DMARC and modify the Pass DMARC Docker file. And you can then sign up and have that in there for you. So that's a very simple way of having your own DMARC records passed by your own computer. Obviously, if you need to have it on Windows, you can dump it on Windows. If you've got a Ubuntu server, you can put it onto your Ubuntu server and you can have it pulled from there. There are also ways in this article, it says that you can choose to read it from DMARC files. Um, or you could also do, if you go into the past DMARC setup, you can also ask it to pull directly from your inbox. So if you go into the past DMARC project, GitHub here, you can actually see the examples here. They've got either going in via IMAP or obviously you can use it via the files. So either way, if you want to actually get it to go in automatically for you, you can get it to download whenever you want. So I hope that helps. This is not my project, but I have used it a couple of times for clients. If you do have any questions about this, I would suggest posing the question to the people on debricked.com or if you've got past DMARC questions, I would suggest going into this GitHub and asking the author directly. So if you have any other questions that I can possibly help with it, let's check into the Q&A. But apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.